Hankara Jasutta, Sumutta Nikaya, 3.12, Five Kings, at Sabati. Now, at that time, five kings, headed by Pasenity, were amusing themselves, supplied and provided with the five kinds of sexual simulation, and this discussion came up among them. What's the best of sexual pleasures? Some of them said, sights are the best of sexual pleasures. Others said, sounds are best. Others said, smells are best. Others said, tastes are best. Others said, touches are best. Since those kings were unable to persuade each other, King Pasanity said to them, come, good sirs, let's go to the Buddha and ask him about this. As he answers, so we'll remember it. Yes, dear sir, replied those kings. Then those five kings headed by Pasanity went to the Buddha, bowed, and sat down to one side. King Pasanity reported their conversation to the Buddha and said, sir, what's the best of sensual pleasures? Great king, which kind of sensual stimulation is best is defined by which is most agreeable, I say. The very same sights that are agreeable to some are disagreeable to others. When you're happy with certain sights, you've got all you wish for. You don't want any other sight that's better or finer. For you, those sights are perfect and supreme. The very same sounds that are agreeable to some are disagreeable to others. When you're happy with certain sounds, as you've got all you wish for, you don't want any other sound that's better or finer. For you, those sounds are perfect and supreme. The very same smells that are agreeable to some are disagreeable to others. When you're happy with certain smells, as you've got all you wished for, and you don't want any other smell that's better or finer, for you, those smells are perfect and supreme. The very same tastes that are agreeable to some are disagreeable to others. When you're happy with certain tastes, as you've got all you wished for, you don't want any other taste that's better or finer. For you, those tastes are perfect and supreme. The very same touches that are agreeable to some are disagreeable to others. When you're happy with certain touches, as you've got all you wished for, you don't want any other touch that's better or finer. For you, those touches are perfect and supreme. Now, at that time, the lay follower Kandanangalika was sitting in that assembly. Then he got up from his seat, arranged his robe over one shoulder, raised his joined palms toward the Buddha and said, I feel inspired to speak, blessed one. I feel inspired to speak, holy one. Then speak as you feel inspired, said the Buddha. Then the lay follower Kandanagalika extolled the Buddha in his presence with an appropriate verse. Like a fragrant pink lotus that blooms in the morning, its fragrance unfaded, see Angirasa shine, bright as the sun in the sky. Those Five kings clothed Kandangalika with five upper robes, and Kandangalika in turn endowed the Buddha with those robes.